Hello everyone and welcome back to this week's Trader Joe's haul. So we've got three brand new items this week. So we are just gonna combine the taste test with the haul. So the taste test will be right after I'm done showing you everything that we got. And then Brent has a secret item as well. So we'll be trying four new items. So first off, I just wanted to let you guys know we are going on vacation next week. We're gonna be gone. So I, we did still wanna put out a video for you guys. So I decided to do a taste test video of trying your favorite foods at Trader Joe's. So if you guys could help me out in the comments below, let me know what are some of your favorite items at Trader Joe's. So put all the suggestions down below, let us know what you want us to try, and then I'm gonna go to the grocery store, um, pick up all the items that you want us to try, and we're gonna do a taste test video for you guys. Okay, so let me share with you what we got this week. So we're gonna be doing a chicken bacon ranch sandwich. We're gonna like cook all this up on the Blackstone. So um, these are some of the items that we need. Gotta have the bacon. So we get the uncured dry rub sliced bacon. Uh, we're gonna do some bell peppers, onions, chicken, and then we are gonna cover it with some um, of the pepper jack cheese, melt that up, and then add some homemade ranch on there. So we'll probably do that on Sunday. Uh, so excited for that dinner. For an easy dinner, we grab the mandarin orange chicken over here, one of our favorites. And then over here, we've got a brand new item that looks really good. This is the grilled chili lime chicken breast. So this is sliced and ready to use. Uh, you can use it on fajitas, casseroles, salads, all that good stuff. That is what it looks like. The girl at the checkout said that they tried this yesterday in the store and she said it was really good. So I'm excited for it. I think I'm gonna add this to my salads this week and I will um, make like a chipotle uh, vinaigrette to go with it. I think my salad is gonna be so good. Can't wait for it. Okay, so here we go. Those are the nutrition facts and the ingredients. It looks like there's no natural flavor in here, which is great. That's one of my pet peeves is when they add natural flavor to meat because it's like not needed whatsoever. So I appreciate that. So I'm excited to eat this. Something else that we're gonna have for dinner this week. Have you guys seen the Caesar salad chicken pizza going around? It's kind of going around on TikTok. So I'm finally gonna try it. So it calls for the canned chicken. This is the white chicken at Trader Joe's. And this one's great, it's just chicken, water, and salt. There's nothing else in it. You need 20 ounces, which so that's two cans worth. And you do this with like egg, breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, seasoning, and like you flatten it out to make like the pizza crust. You bake it and then you add a Caesar salad on top. Everyone's saying it's really good. So I'm excited to try it this week. The Rosewater Facial Toner is back in stock. This is like a summer item. I love this, so I grab it every year. I keep it in my car. It's perfect for any time you're outside and then I get back in the car, like I take the kids to the park, we go on a lot of walks. Even both my kids love getting sprayed in the face with this. It's just a nice refresher from when you were like outside. I love it. So I picked up another bottle. Here are both the bell peppers for that chicken bacon ranch um, sandwiches that we're gonna do. And then for the Caesar salad, I grabbed the romaine hearts and then I make a homemade Caesar dressing. Although it's not authentic, we don't use anchovy paste. Um, but yeah, we've gotta have the romaine for that. I also grabbed the pizza crust. This is great. It comes with two of these in here and they are so big. So we're gonna have pizza this week. Gotta have the shredded pizza seasoned Toscano cheese to pair with it. Lakeland has been loving her applesauce and we went through a whole box of the Costco ones already. So I grabbed this to hold her over. Just the irregular organic apple pouches. It only comes with, um, let's see here, four of them in here. Wish it came with more personally. And then here is my butter lettuce for my salads this week. I grabbed another bag too. So I have two bags of this um, for my salad. And then over here, I grabbed just the green beans. We're gonna have this for a side dish with one of our dinners. A cucumber over here. I grabbed this for the kids' um, snacks this week. We're running low on all of our Costco foods, as you can tell. So this will hold them over in their lunches this week. The sour cream and onion corn puffs. These are a staple. I love adding these to my salads and this will be perfect with that chili lime chicken on my salads. These are the crispy jalapeno pieces. It's perfect, a little bit spicy, but I gotta have like some sort of crunch in my salad. So this is great. 
the organic jasmine rice over here. We're gonna pair this with the um, mandarin orange chicken. And then we've got a new item over here. We've got the freeze-dried raspberries. They are unsweetened and unsulfured. I'm not the biggest fan of freeze-dried fruits. Um, I, mean, I don't know, what do you guys usually eat, like use this for? It says you can just snack on it, yogurt, cereal. So I think we're gonna pour some of this like in a yogurt maybe, um, but we'll try them by ourselves too because I don't wanna cheat. <laughs> Brent will get mad at me, so I'll definitely try them as is. Okay, so here are the nutrition facts and then the ingredients, just the freeze dried raspberries. So love to see it. Okay, and this is our last item of the week. This is brand new. These are the milk chocolate covered honeycomb candies. That actually sounds really good. And it looks like it even comes in a resealable pouch, which I love it. Okay, so here's the nutrition facts and the ingredients. It says it's a crunchy sugar and honey candy with a honeycomb-like texture dipped in milk chocolate. I love that. These sound really good. Can't wait to try this. Okay, so that is everything for the haul. Let's get into the taste test and don't forget to leave your suggestions on what you want us to try in next week's video. Let's get into it. Okay, so we are on to the taste test portion of the video. So we are first gonna try the freeze-dried raspberries. Huh. So yeah, you guys have to let me know, those of you that like freeze-dried raspberries, what is your favorite way to eat these? Do you eat them by themselves? Do you add them like in yogurt or cereal? We are gonna eat them by themselves okay. because this one's gonna get mad at me. Um, but I did buy yogurt so like I can just eat this um, after the taste test. I can pour some of this like on my yogurt, try it that way. But I mean, it's just basically a big old freeze-dried raspberry. That's all, that's all it is, so. There you Weird. go. Yeah, I was thinking, I was like, what are you supposed to eat these? Yeah, for? I know, I'm like, curious. So you guys let me know, you, those of you that enjoy a freeze-dried fruit, so. Okay. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Very sweet. Ooh. Ooh. It's like tart. Dang. Ooh. Mm. Oh, that is way too tart to eat on its own. Ooh. I was like sour. <laughs> That's it's, sour. It's very good, but I cannot do that like on its own. This would definitely be good. I think you could add this, yeah, to like cereal, like Special K or whatnot. That would be good. Or I think yogurt would yeah. be like the best option, but very sweet. I love it. It's just freeze dried raspberries. There's nothing else to it. So if you like freeze dried fruit and you like raspberries, um, then I guess you would like this. So yeah, definitely curious to see um, what this is gonna like taste like in the yogurt. What do you think? Overall, overall, I think it's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is what it says it is, and exactly. Yeah. And if you eat it by itself, it's very sour. <laughs> yes. So. <laughs> All right. So next up is an oddly packaged Trader Joe's item here. I didn't know they came in Ziploc bags. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saving that for my salads this week, so oh. wanted to put it, make sure it gets sealed properly. <laughs> okay. So what we have here is a Trader Joe's grilled. Chili lime, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Yes. If you haven't seen it already, there you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just warmed up, like um, you saw here, just a few pieces. There's still a bunch in there, so perfect. It will last me um, for all my salads this week. You can definitely see the chili lime seasoning on top of the chicken breast, already cooked. All you have to do is warm it up. You definitely taste the chili. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I'm not really getting lime, but I definitely taste the chili. Let's try again. Yeah, I took a smaller bite. The chili wasn't like a big like punch in my mouth or anything. No, it's not. Okay. Like the way you said it, yeah. I was expecting like a big chili flavor, but I think it's subtle. I don't know about subtle, but <laughs> it's there's it's definitely tastes like chili. Yeah, no, you can definitely taste the chili. You are right though, it is. I wish it had a little bit more of the lime. I'm getting yeah. very uh, minimal lime and I love a good lime flavor in my chili lime. But overall, I think it's good. It has a nice taste and it's perfect. Like I said, you can add it on salads, you can make quesadillas, whatever you want. It's already cooked, so really easy for a lunch option. So overall, I like the taste for you yeah. know already cooked chicken, so. Yeah, and I think it's real chicken, so. It is. I, it's I'm, a good thing. Yeah, I noted that there's no natural flavor or anything <laughs> in it. So, real chicken, can't beat that. <laughs> yeah, so I like it. I think it's pretty good. Okay. Okay, so we are on to dessert. We have got the milk chocolate covered honeycomb candy. Doesn't that honeycomb. seem? Yeah, doesn't that seem interesting? 
Yeah. So it is a crunchy sugar and honey candy with a honeycomb-like texture dipped in milk chocolate. So I, there's actual like honey in here, which I mean, that sounds good to me. I don't think I've ever had chocolate with honey in it before. I'm trying to think, I don't think we have. And I did note that there is a resealable pack, which I love to see that. Honeycomb texture. Oh, these look cool. I'm gonna take a bite and then show you what it looks like in the inside. Oh, whoa. Very weird. I instantly got honey. Oh, for sure. Like that is just full of honey on the inside. Very unique. Wow. When I first spit into it, mm -hmm. like that instant honey yeah, taste. Yeah, it's instant. I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. I didn't like the flavor. It was a big hard mm -hmm. hit. Mm -hmm. Right now, yep. after swallowing it and all now that. Now you get the chocolate. Now it tastes pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I don't like the honey honeycomb. Well. After a while, the honey, because I was chewing mine slow, you're instantly gonna get that big, like, packful, um, you're instantly gonna get that honey, like, impactful flavor, then you're slowly gonna get the chocolate. But the inside, if you chew it a while, it's honey. It's like an actual honeycomb. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna get, like, sticky, and, like, it's gonna stick to your mouth. It's interesting. I, I actually enjoy the honey, but it is different. If you don't like honey, obviously, you're not gonna like this because it does have a strong honey um, flavor. But if you enjoy honey, I think it's interesting. It's different, that's for sure. Um, I like it. Yeah, it's, I don't know if I like it, but I don't, I don't like, what? I don't know, there's just so honey out there. It is, it's crazy. It's a lot, I don't it's know if like I could too eat, much. I don't know if I could eat like a lot, like one of those yeah. is gonna hold me over, so. Oh, for sure. Definitely unique and different. Unique, so. different. Do I like it where I can eat a bunch? No. Yeah, I couldn't eat a lot of this either. I agree. I don't dislike it either, though, so. All right, so it's that time for my secret item. Okay. And I want to say that I picked this item because it reminded me of a taste test video we did recently. Okay. Where I thought it was something, and it turned out not to be. So now I think these will be the replacement. Okay. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Okay. So what I have here is the pinks and whites shortbread cookies with yogurt coating and sprinkles. Okay. So I think I may have purchased these before. We've never tried them on camera though. I know that for sure. I think I maybe bought them for Lakeland or something, but it's been a while. I don't remember like what they taste like. So they look really good. As you can see, they're already opened. Lakeland went for them already. Uh, so she approves, but yeah, they look like the um, animal crackers. Is that what you're yeah, going for? Yeah, so exactly. Okay, okay. So we oh, did, I we, remember what it was that we tried. The cherry or the cheery lemon yeah. animal cracker. That's what it was. Yeah, it was. The cheery, cheery. animal lemon crackers. Not yes. cherry. Cheery. Cheery. <laughs> okay. And then, yeah, we were, I, I was saying, too, I wish there was different flavors in there besides the lemon. So, oh, yeah, these are cute. But these look like. Animal the regular too. ones, yeah. So let's see if they taste similar. I thoughts? can't. I can't remember what an animal cracker. These taste pretty good. Does it? I don't think mm -hmm. it reminds me of an animal cracker though. Does it? Yeah. I, it's been so long. I can't remember. For sure. I'm good. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I definitely like it. I mean, I like it better than a lemon one, just because we're not a big fan of the lemon. But it's a nice crunchy shortbread cookie it has like a nice crunch to it and then it has like the yogurt coating on the outside with the sprinkles so it's definitely good i could definitely see why lakeland likes this so i'll pack these in her lunch um for next week but it's not something like i'm not a huge cookie person so yeah it's not something that i would gravitate towards but they're good so yeah if you want that old school animal mm -hmm. cracker yeah this is it right here so i have gonna, found it are you gonna eat these box did oh, you yeah. like your secret yeah, item they're really good i like them okay it's yeah, so exactly where I was hoping they would be, and okay. turns out they are. Well, so well, good. Another successful secret item for you then. Yeah, animal crackers. 
Okay, so that was everything that we had to try this week. We hope you guys enjoyed, and don't forget to put your suggestions of what you want us to try um, for next week's taste test video. So we will see you in that video. One thing, no uh -huh. olives. No <laughs> Unless Please. you want to torture this no, guy and no give olives. him olives. <laughs> no olives, no dill pickle flavored items. Okay. We'll be good. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.